Welcome back everybody to Hispanic Heritage Week number four. You should have just done your welcome song and now we are going to do your Spanish themed brain break, which goes right along with our lesson today. Se baila el mambo con cadencia y sabrosura, con su rico movimiento, cuando mueve la cintura, se baila mambo con sentimiento y corazón, por eso en Cuba lo disfruto tanto mi canto. Ahí mueve la cintura y los hombros, oye mamá, y mira cómo soy. All right, great job, guys. Go ahead and have a seat. Let's find that steady beat in our heartbeat. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Remember, we want our heart to be a steady beat. We don't want it to go blah, 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 blah. We want it to go bum, 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 bum. And we want a slow, steady heartbeat. So breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your mouth. All right, today, what are we going to learn? You will be able to recall information about our composer of the week named, I can't wait to tell you, but you have to wait. You will also be able to sing in Spanish with correct diction. Remember, we talked about diction. That just means you're singing the words correctly. I will be able to identify the guitar and that it is a Spanish instrument. And I will be able to describe mambo, that should sound familiar because that's the song we just listened to, mambo music and how it is similar or different to tango music. And remember last week we learned about tango. All right, so once again, you should know what Hispanic heritage is. It is anyone from a main Spanish speaking country such as South America, Spain, parts of the Caribbean. And last week we learned about tango. Remember tango is that very aggressive snappy head dance battle between the male and the female kind of dance. Today we're going to learn a different kind of dance. So 
Our composer of the week is Leo Brower. And there he is. That is an actual picture of Mr. Leo Brower. OK, Mr. Brower was born with a different name. It was Juan Leo Viglo, Vigildo Brower Mexiquita. I'm working on that, guys. I may have said that completely wrong. Fortunately, he goes by Leo Brower, and he is a Cuban composer, conductor, and classical guitarist. So we're going to take another imaginary field trip to Cuba. Can you say Cuba? Good. So we are going to Cuba or Cuba, depending on how you want to say it. And we're going to wait for Google Earth to load so we can take our virtual field trip. All right, spin the Earth around, spin it around. Da, 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 da. Whoop, I went right past the United States. All right, let's see if I can. There we go. All right, guys. Oh, good, the clouds went away. All right, here we live right here today we're going to travel to havana cuba havana oh no 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 just me okay all right so we are going to havana cuba look at that guys look at how close that is to where we live so there is havana cuba looks like it's near the water let's zoom in let's see if i see some green fields but think it's got lots of cities. What do you think? Based on this map. Oh yeah, look at all these cities, little houses and buildings. Not a whole lot of green grass going on there, but there's some parks. It's a little better than Argentina looked. We've got water for the ships to come in because we're right near the coast. So let's look real quick. How far is Cuba? Look, look at that. There's Florida, there's Cuba. Havana is right there, guys. So if you were gonna go to Havana, okay, we live here, you could drive all the way down here, but uh-oh, we hit water. So you would have to take a ferry. That's where you drive your boat, I mean your car on a boat, and the boat would take you over here, or you would probably fly from Georgia to Cuba or drive to Florida and fly to Cuba. But that is way closer than where we've been going because we've been going all the way over here. We went to Argentina one day and then we went to um, Peru another day. So uh, <clears throat> that's that's pretty good. I think I did that backwards. Peru and Argentina. Sorry, guys. So that Cuba, which is really close to the United States, is where Mr. Brower is from. All right, so we're going to go back to. Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. Let me fix that. That I exited out of everything. That was not what I meant to do. There it is. OK. <clears throat> so Mr. Brower was born in Cuba, which we just saw how close that is to the United States. He was born on March 1st, 1939, and he is still alive. Yay! At the age of 13, he started playing classical guitar because his dad liked to play as well. He put on his first concert at the age of 17. Can you imagine that? That's like a high school senior putting on your first big concert. And he went to college in America to a school called Juilliard. Guys, Juilliard is like the best music school probably in the world, but definitely the United States. If you want to be a good musician, like a famous musician, you go to Juilliard. Lady Gaga went to Juilliard. Lots of famous musicians have gone to Juilliard because that's the big performance school. So he's really good if he went to Juilliard. And he has written music for guitar, piano, percussion, which is drums, and orchestra. And he's done ballet music and a bunch of movie music. So that's pretty cool. So <clears throat> we're gonna listen to some of Mr. Brewer actually playing. This is him from a long time ago when he was younger. We'll just listen to a little bit.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. So that instrument is the guitar that he is playing on. And um, I really liked, I liked that a lot. Why it's acting silly, I'm gonna exit out for just a second. And you can stare at my it's learning for just a minute because I don't like that that's being silly. All right, let's try again. There we go. All right, I don't know why it was being silly. <clears throat> so, um, okay, so the next thing we're gonna do today is learn a Coco song. Remember, we did Remember Me last time. Well, this time we're gonna do a little bit of La Llorona, I think is how you say that correctly. So I'm gonna sing a little bit and then I want you to sing some back. But before I do that, the words are Ay de mi, Llorona, Llorona, which means, oh of me, weeping, weeping. Weeping means like crying, so she's sad, okay? And then she says, Llorona de azul celeste. So weeping in the sky blue, okay? And then she says it again, Ay de mi, Llorona, Llorona, Llorona de azul celeste. Oh of me, weeping, weeping in sky blue, okay? Then she says, Yanke la vida mi cuesta llorona, no dejaré de caerte. I hope I'm saying this right, guys. If I say it wrong, I'm so sorry. But she's saying, even if life costs me weeping, I won't stop loving you. And then she says, no dejaré de caerte. I won't stop loving you. So it's a love song. And she is sad. It's so sad. Okay. And if you've watched Coco, this is from the scene where um, Mama Imelda is singing on stage for the first time. So the way this goes is, Ay de mi llorona, llorona de azul celeste. I'm going to do that again. Ay de mi llorona, llorona de azul celeste. Okay, so I'm going to go first. Ay de mi, can you do that? Good, let's do that one more time. My turn first. Ay de mi, your turn. Good, then it's Yorona, Yorona de Azul Celeste. Can you do that with me? Yorona, Yorona de Azul Celeste. Good, so let's put that all together. My turn first. Ay de mi Yorona, Yorona de Azul Celeste. Good job. And so it does that again. Then it's got, Yanke la vida me cueste llorona, no dejaré de quererte. Well, that was a lot, wasn't it? So I'm going to go first. Yanke la vida me cueste. Can you do that? Good. Let's do it again. My turn. Yanke la vida me cueste. Your turn. Very good with your Spanish. Yorona no dejere de quererte. Let me do that again. Yanke la vida me cueste. Yorona no dejare de quererte. Can you do that with me? Yanke la vida me cueste. Yorona no dejare de quererte. And then it just repeats that last part. No dejare de quererte. Good. All right, let's see if we can do all of this together. Okay, ready, go. Ay de mi llorona, llorona de azul celeste. Ay de mi llorona, llorona de azul celeste. Y aunque la vida me cueste llorona, no dejaré de quererte. No dejaré de quererte. Very good. I know that's a lot of Spanish, right? But you're doing so good. I love singing in Spanish, even if I don't always get the words right. And then the next part is, Mi subi al pino más alta. I climbed the tallest pine tree. Llorona a ver si de dis... I always mess this up. Llorona a ver si de dis... divisaba. That's a tongue twister, guys. But she says, weeping to see if I could see you. So I climbed the tallest pine tree, crying to see if I could see you. And then she says, como el pino era tierno, llorona el verme llorar, lloraba. 
as the pine was tender, weeping, seeing me cry, I cried. So it's a very sad love song. So I don't expect you to sing this part. Um, if you want to sing along with it, you absolutely can. But I don't expect you to sing that part because um, it's pretty tough. As long as you get the, the first part that we just worked on, I will be just fine with that. And I'm going to pull up. I know you're staring at Google Earth right now. I'm going to pull up the song so you can sing along with it. I really love this song because it's beautiful. Even though it's a sad love song, I still think it's beautiful. All right, let me pull them up and make sure that there are no, there's always a commercial guys, always a commercial. All right, now let me switch this over so you can see it. Yay, Coco, I love Coco too. All right, but, and I need to unmute it. Ay, de mi llorona, llorona de azul celeste. Ay, de mi llorona, llorona de azul celeste. Y aunque la vida me cueste llorona, no dejaré de quererte, no dejaré de quererte. Me subí al pino más alto llorona, a ver si de ti visaba, como el pino era tierno llorona, al verme llorar. Very good job, guys. So hopefully you were able to sing with the correct diction. That means you were using the right words that we learned. And now we're going to learn about our instrument of the week. And I bet you know what instrument this is. It's the guitar. That's right. And the guitar is a stringed instrument. It has strings going across it. And you take your fingers and you use them to either pluck the strings or strum the machine, the machines, the strings. OK, and so we're going to watch a little bit, just a little bit, because I don't want to run out of time today of um, someone playing the guitar. And unlike our composer of the week, who is from Cuba, this guitar is actually from Spain. They originated from Spain, but they are used all over the world. OK. I'm going to skip just a little bit. stop it there and I know you're saying Miss Kaiser but I really liked that and that's awesome um so as you can see he's playing the guitar these are actually congas which we'll learn about later because they're pretty Spanish too but the guitar did you notice it sounds Spanishy have you heard someone play the guitar and it didn't sound Spanishy yeah probably you've probably heard all sorts of different type of guitar music but the style that means the way he's playing it 
sounds Spanish. Can you tell when it sounds Spanish? Good. Hopefully you can. Oh, okay. I hope you're still there. It said something went wrong, but I, I think we're still good. So hopefully you can hear when it sounds Spanish because you guitar, you can play all sorts of different styles of music, right? You can play rock guitar. You can play just acoustic guitar, but this is Spanish guitar. It sounds Spanish when, when he plays it. Okay. And we said it is a string. Okay. Now we're going to learn about mambo. Can you say mambo? Good. So there is just like we learned about tango last week. There's tango music and tango dance. There's also mambo music and mambo dance. So mambo music is Cuban, which makes sense, right? Because our composer is from Cuba and we went and visited Cuba today. And it was the music was created in the 1930s and it came from a Cuban and Mexican style called Danzon, which is a really quick, fast style of music. Remember I said that it's very rare that one culture gets to take full credit for something because usually it's multiple cultures. Lots of different people come together. It's the same thing with Mambo. Even though Mambo is known as a Cuban style of music, it's got Mexican influence in there. And then later it's also got New York. So some of America gets to go into Mambo. So it's usually played with big bands. That means it's not just one guitar player or one violin player or drums. There's all sorts of instruments, okay? Including some brass, which we'll learn about later. And it has a syncopated rhythm, and that's a big word, okay? So if something's not syncopated, it just goes. But if it's syncopated, it's more of a. You hear how? How it sounds a little bit different it's not it's not really a normal steady beat it's still a steady beat but it's a little bit different so you'll also notice it may sound like jazz because new york gave mambo a little bit of a jazz style so we're going to listen to some mambo music and trust me i want to listen to this whole video but we won't be able to <laughs> I know you're going to say it again. Miss Kaiser, I was really enjoying that. I know. And if you really like it, maybe that's something you can talk to your parents about playing for you some mambo music. But did you hear what I was talking about? You hear the big band. Big band's got those trumpets and some trombones and you hear some saxophones and there's lots of drums. And could you hear how it, it had that kind of that syncopated beat where it, it is a steady beat, but it's a little catchier. OK, so that's what mambo music sounds like. OK, and then there's mambo dance, just like tango has music and dance. So mambo dance, the dance has been around since the 1940s. So 10 years after the mambo music was created and it's just like tango and has dance. Many use the first form as feeling dance. That means there, there didn't used to be steps. You just kind of danced however you felt like it. Those are my kind of dances. Sometimes I, I struggle when I've got certain dance moves I'm supposed to do. So when we talk about this in our quiz, if it asks you, you know, it's a dance that it does later on, they added some steps to it, but it's really how you feel. You kind of groove to the music. So we're going to show you some mambo dance just a little bit. And these do have these do have steps. So this is an older mom. Thank you. 
All right, so I'm going to stop it there. So do you do you hear the mambo music in the background? Do you hear the big band? Did you hear like the trumpets and stuff? Good, you should. So it should sound the same as the music, but did the dance match? Do you think the dance matched the, the music? Okay, so remember when we watched Tango and it was two dancers and they were almost like dance battling and they were very aggressive and there's a lot of snapping. Does this seem like that? No, this seems just more like they're dancing and having fun. So, so Mambo is not quite like Tango. Mambo is more fun spirited and easygoing. Um, so just remember that when you're trying to remember, oh, Mambo, what is Mambo and what is Tango, okay? Because Mambo is a lot more laid back. It's more like a party song, whereas Tango is more one-on-one -on -one dance. So, and that was actually in Cuba, guys. Isn't that cool? So we, we got to visit Cuba. So now we're going to learn a mambo. Stand up for me. Put your left hand up. Put your right hand down. When you hear this sound, it's time to spin around. Take a small step left. And then two steps right. Look, there goes Mama Lou. Flying with his kite. Put your right hand up. Put your left hand down. Clap your hands. Time to spin around. Move your hands up and down and spin around. Having fun with your friends. There's no reason to frown. It's no tango. Do the Mama Lou Mambo. Put your left hand up, take one step right, the sky is blue, and the sun shines bright, put both hands up, put both hands down, then stand still, do not make a sound, one, two, three, time to dance with me, is that the I see? Under the coconut tree. Move your hands up and down and spin around. Having fun with your friends. There's no reason to frown. It's no tango. Do the mama lu mambo. Move your hands up and down and spin around. Having fun with your friends. There's no reason to frown. It's no tango. Do the mama lu mambo. Move your hands up and down and spin around. Having fun with your friends. There's no reason to frown. The mambo. All right, great job, guys. You just did the mambo, which we have been learning about all through class today because we went to Cuba. So what did we learn today? You should be able to recall information about our composer named Leo Brower, who is from Cuba. You should have been able to sing Spanish with the correct diction. Remember, we learned La Llorona, the sad love song that Mama Imelda sings. You are now able to identify a guitar, which is a Spanish instrument. And you should be able to describe mambo music and how it's similar or different from tango, which even your song said it's not the tango, it's the mambo. So that's pretty cool. So. Um, we're, I don't know that we'll have time to do Remember Me this week, so I'll just skip to that. You're going to have another quiz is quiz this week. You're going to do the same thing you did last week. Click on the quiz, put your name in, and hit start game. Whoops. You'll hit start game, and then you will take your quiz and submit it. It is only four questions, and the last question just asks you what you learned today in music. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Have a great week.